All right, so this is gonna blow your mind. Today, we're comparing the image quality from the new Hero 10 to my $16,000 A7S III production rig. It sounds easy, but over the next six side-by-side -side shots, can you pick which one of these is from the GoPro? Sometimes I'd ride for a seal, my dear. It's time you go on your way. Not as easy as you thought, right? Here's Don't a few more. Yeah, this one's a giveaway. All right, moving on. We'll get to the answers in just a second, but if you even have the slightest doubt or have to think at all about your answer, then that is incredible. The fact that a $700 action camera can rival a $16,000 production rig blows my mind. And even if you did get all of those side-by-sides correct, you gotta admit that, are, that a number of them look ridiculously similar. Now, obviously there are a lot of caveats here, but onto the answers. The first one was probably the hardest to pick, but the GoPro is on the left and the Sony on the right. For shot number two, the slight blue tint on the right shot does give the GoPro away, but you have to appreciate how similar these are. Yeah, this next one was pretty easy. The GoPro was on the left. Number four was also pretty similar, but again, the slight green tint on the left may have given it away. Again with number five, the color range on the right shot is just ever so slightly lower. And same thing with this last shot where the GoPro was on the left. But for a $15,000 price difference, there's not that much in it. And I think it again shows that gear isn't everything. And for the everyday user, it's not what you shoot on that matters, but rather how you use it. Now, I do have to say that this test is only really applicable to wide-angle lenses as you can't zoom in on those GoPros and get those tighter moments with depth of field. Also, on the Sony, I was zooming into about 125% to better match up some of the shots for the comparison, and I was also filming in all of the flattest settings for the GoPro, which means that you do have to color correct and edit your footage to get results like this. Also, I obviously, for the sake of the video, was cherry-picking those shots that did best align with each other. But the fact that any of these shots even remotely match up is kind of ridiculous. I gotta say, GoPro, I'm impressed. Hats off to you. 